Hello everyone, welcome to the Quest of Mage. When deciding to buy a new game, I usually find myself going around the internet and trying to find out if a game has a specific option or feature that I want. I thought some of you might be doing the same, so today I would like to look at the options and features available in Astroneer on the Nintendo Switch when starting a new game. Now before we do that, there are a few important points that I'd like to go through. Number one, these will be the options available when you start a brand new game. There might be some more options made available later on. Number two is the current version of the game. At the time of making this video, the game is at version 1.27.264.0. Number three, the game itself is the physical retail edition. And lastly, number four is the type of Switch that I am using. I am using an original Nintendo Switch. So not the red box version, not the OLED, not the light, but the original one. So with that out of the way, sit back, relax, click like, subscribe, and hopefully enjoy. Here we go. So when starting a brand new game, you'll be greeted to this screen right here. And we're gonna scroll to the right all the way to the options menu. Okay, so here we are. Let's go through these one by one. So at the top is the software version. We've already gone through that. And next is the general section. So here we can start with language. So what languages do we have in Astroneer? We have all the ones that you can see on screen now. A very nice layout and a very easy one to navigate at that. Next, we have the terrain tool add mode, which will toggle between the new mode of adding terrain and the classic mode of adding terrain. Next, we have the selection wheels require hold on or off. So that's whether you want to hold down a button to see the wheel or just toggle it. Moving on to the compass size, we have a few sizes here. So let's see, we've got from 0 0.6 all the way up to number two. Next, we have the compass camera tilt, which by default is number 25. It goes down all the way to zero and it goes all the way up to 40. Vehicle use camera steering, you can turn that on or off. Vehicle air controls, you can change between pitch and roll and pitch and your. Next, we have all the display settings. We have brightness, so we can see on screen there, it's at zero brightness, so let's put it down and see the difference. All the way down to minus 50, and it goes all the way up to plus 50. Next, we have all the audio controls. So we have the master volume, the music volume, the sound effects volume, the ambient effects volume, and the astroneer voice volume. I'd like to point out here, you'd think that this would be in every game, but it isn't. I very much enjoy seeing games that have separate sliders for separate sound types, because sometimes the sound effects are too low, the music's too high, and sometimes you want to change that to be tailored to your preference. So that is the options menu that you see in the main menu. Now I know that Ashner uses the same menu system in game, so I'm not gonna show the difference between in-game menus and the main menu itself. Another thing I like to point out here is I can't see any difference in the options that are available in docked mode compared to those available in tabletop or handheld modes. So let's move on to features. Starting off with Amiibo support. Does this game support Amiibo? No, it doesn't. Unfortunately, would have been nice, but it doesn't. Button remapping. Now, this is one thing in this game that I really want to talk about because the button remapping, as you can see on screen now, is actually really, really good. So let's go for some of those options. You have the invert camera Y axis on or off. I always have it to off. You have the hold down the button for sprint on or off toggle, hold for cursor on or off, and reset input bindings. But the most important thing that you can see in these controller settings is the button remapping. You can remap any button for any action that you see on screen, which is really, really good because not all controllers are compatible with the Nintendo Switch's native button remapping feature. So thank you very much for adding this to the game. It is very useful. I really like it. Next on the list would be gyro controls. Unfortunately, the game does not at this point in time include the option for gyro controls. It is a bit of a shame, but it does not include it. Next on the list is HD rumble. Unfortunately, the game does not support any rumble whatsoever, which is a big shame, but hey, it does not support it. Next on the list is keyboard and mouse support. Now with Astroneer, I am really, really happy to say that it does indeed support native keyboard and mouse support. As you can see on screen, we have some similar options. So we have the invert camera Y axis, hold to sprint, hold to orbit camera, and the camera orbit sensitivity. So we can change the sensitivity from 11 down to one and all the way up to 50, which is really good. And as you can see, the key bindings for the computer version are actually all intact here in Astroneer on the Nintendo Switch. This to me is an absolute plus. 
I absolutely love the fact that we have that option on the Nintendo Switch. It allows you to use the Nintendo Switch as a mini computer of sorts. Now I will be showing some footage on screen of me playing with a mouse and keyboard, you should be seeing that now. Just so you know, I'm using a mouse and keyboard both connected via one 2.4GHz USB dongle. Next on the list is screen rotation. In TV or in tabletop and handheld, this game is obviously a horizontal game and it does not include any other type of screen orientation. Next is screen scaling. This game does not support any form of screen scaling. Now you might ask yourself why I am mentioning screen scaling, it's because I'm one of those people that have a 5x4 monitor and then with some games I like to actually use the stretch option because it displays very well on my 5x4 screen. I don't like seeing the way that widescreen games are displayed on my 5x4 monitor but again that is predominantly with retro games and this is not a retro game. So that is it, we've gone through the main options available in Astroneer in the main menu and we've gone through some of the features that it has. If there are any features that you would like to see me add to these videos going forward then please let me know down below. Now that's going to do it for today's episode, thank you very much again for watching. If you like what I do here please click that like button down below. If you want to see more then please click that subscribe button because that is the only way this channel can grow. Now I hope you like this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, thanks again.